Right now, crews are working to put out a fire in Calaveras County that's forced people out of their homes. The Maria fire is burning along Jesus Maria Road, southeast of McCallamy Hill. It's burned more than 65 acres and not a lot of growth since this morning. And here's some of the evacuation zones we can show you on this map. The orders you see there are in red. The warnings are in yellow. There are several evacuation shelters open in Valley Springs and in Angels Camp. And we do have live team coverage right now of the Maria fire, starting with Case Area 3 is Anahita Jafari. She's live right now outside where evacuations and warnings are up and running right now, Anahita. Right behind me is the Maria Fire Incident Command Post, and we were just told that some firefighters have been injured while battling this fire. We are also told that they're being taken away by aircraft, and the injuries are, injuries are minor, but they're being taken in order to be evaluated. Now, earlier today, we had told you that the fire did spread to be burning about 50 acres. Now, we're knowing that that number has since grown to 65.4 acres. The Jesus Maria Road was closed between Highway 26 and Music Gulch since right before 3 this morning. Videos we took this afternoon show a lot of smoke and helicopters dropping fire retardant all over the area. We saw firefighters making the trek up and down the hills, spraying water on them. McCallumney Hill Elementary School right near there is still set to start school tomorrow. The principal says they have staff who live in the evacuation areas. It's scary living through Butte fire. We all evacuated. You know, we know people that are up the hill 3:30 in the morning. You get on Facebook and you see families that are talking about unpacking up, leaving. So it is very scary. There are multiple evacuation centers, three to be exact. There's one for people and for their pets, and two separate ones that are just for their pets. Sending it back to you. All right, so while we've got you there, Anahita, tell us a little bit about the evacuation centers. Are they seeing a lot of people there right now? Are they busy? We actually just went to one earlier today, and that one did not have any new people coming in. They said that they might, they will be open for people to come in and go over there to get any supplies that they need, but so far, um, none are being used right now. All right, Anahita Jafari reporting live for us. Thank you so much. We continue our team coverage now with meteorologist Heather Waldman with more on the conditions where the fire is burning. Yeah, and this fire started very late last night, continued into this morning. We've seen things kind of slow down through the day today, which of course is good news. You saw it there from Anahita's live shot. But here's where the fire began, just to the east of the community of McCullamy Hill and to the south of Highway 26. There are still evacuation orders along Highway 26 into the south to where the fire ignited, north of Highway 26 is where we have the evacuation warnings. Also worth noting, just to the north of Highway 26 two years ago is where the electrifier burned through the area, so that limits the amount of fuel that would be available in that area. But at this point, just given the winds, it looks relatively unlikely that the fire would quickly make progress up that way. As again, progress of, of the growth of the fire has been relatively slow today. But here's a closer view of some of the terrain, some of these big hills through this area along Jesus Maria Road. That's always a big challenge challenge for the fire crews often needing to bring in some of that air support to really help them get a handle on it. Otherwise, they have to hike down into some of those canyons for some of those hand crews to get their work done there. Here's a look at the wind gusts overnight. As we typically see in the afternoons, yeah, we have the winds picking up a bit in the evening. Winds gusting anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Those winds moving up the hill, but overnight the winds get much lighter and the air cools off quite a bit, providing firefighters uh, some more helpful weather conditions there. Back to you.